Well, here at the Radical Academy, we've still got the same five guys, and of course we've kind of made it hard on them and really tried, tried to run them off. Uh, they're stickers, if that's such a word. Let me put it this way. These guys uh, are going to stay, stand, and doggone and watch this thing through. Now, there's been a lot of parts that we've actually uh, uh, re-engineered and re you know, steering column, uh, the front end and that kind of stuff uh, on this Volkswagen bus so that we could reuse those and put them all, uh, all together uh, when we start this final assembly. Um, this week, we will do some final assembly work. I, I don't know which way we'll go with it, but at that point, uh, it'll, it ought to fly together because it's been put together and took parts so many times. Tell me when the wheels are straight. This is the original front end from the 57 Volkswagen bus. It's been sliced, diced, chopped in two, and brought back to life. The steering column had to be modified to a right side steering column in order for it to fit through the floorboard correctly. Joe, along with Mike's son Boone, were given the assignment of getting this piece ready for installation. They've really wrestled with this thing, and just when they thought it was ready to go, things changed again. Look at it completed. It's really one of the most amazing engineering and fabrication feats of the entire project. Two days, full fabrication, every one of them's wrong. They set and hacked and looked and measured and beat and banged and absolutely turned right around and straightened those pieces out and made those things absolutely perfect. Every one of them, every single one of them jumped in there and grabbed it up. Very, very, very impressive. Comes really right down to it. That's what you actually are getting uh, uh, out of Radical Academy. Don't give up. Work that thing. Go home tired. Be successful. Today I've been uh setting up the mill machine, the Haas machine here to uh, machine these wheels. Uh, we're taking the semi wheel, it's here, and we're uh, making these holes bigger for looks. Uh, we've had some complications with the setup and, uh, and then getting the wheels in too, but uh, we're, we're coming along with it. We've, we've wrote some programs and we've uh, We've made, I've made everything today from bottom caps to go on the front swing arm of the motorcycle all the way to setting up this machine for uh, cutting these wheels tonight. So it's been pretty in depth. Writing the program to cut these wheels in order to take some weight off of them and make them look really cool was left up to Eric. supposed to be a, a it's a the center plate to find the dead center of that wheel so when we slide it down in the center of the wheel that'll give us line the wheel up so we can go off of that to find indicate the first hole to it. after we get that then we can go all the way around the wheel and cut all ten holes at one time he has found a way to cut them all at one time all at one time instead of having to come back and indicate all ten holes and have to do 40 tool changes and 80 How, different setups. How's he going to do it now? He's Instead of using the billet block I made to go down in the hole, right. he's making a big one to go in the dead center of the wheel. And it's just going to go around the, the outside of that dead center. It'll go around that center and then we can go off of that into our 12 o'clock position into the first top hole and then we can cut all 10 holes in one program. Okay. And when they were done, well, you can really see the difference.